How do I, uh... How do I get out of this thing? Is it... Oh, God, no! <laughs> oh, for God's sake, come on now. Come on! What's going on guys, my name is James, or thanks see ya, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod spotlight. And today we are going to be taking a look at the airship mod. So yeah, this is a really simple and straightforward mod which will give you the ability of flight, which is perfect for anyone who plays survival Minecraft who would like to see their world from a different angle and perspective. So yeah, do you want to take a look at the airship? Well, here we go! Hooah! So yeah, it's a really, really basic basic airship and this in my opinion and this is the reason why I think I quite like this mod this is what I think an airship would look like if Mojang actually added one into the vanilla uh, it's really really basic really straightforward it's not too complicated I really like these little propellers they have like um like an animated effect and when you actually drive it like smoke comes out the back so that's kind of cool um, but yeah just a really really nice straightforward airship which will allow you to fly around your world and yeah, there's also some really cool customizable features about it, which I shall show you in a second. Um, but yeah, quickly before I do that, let's just take a look at the crafting recipe. So once again, oh, oh, let me try that again. Okay, so the crafting recipe looks like this. So once again, it is really, really straightforward. Very cheap to make, actually, which is good because it will encourage you to use this mod. Uh, you know, to get from biome to biome, to go exploring, to maybe go and look for some, some pyramids or some temples or some NPC villages. Uh, but yeah, this is how you do it. So you're going to need yourself some wool around the top like that. Um, so five pieces there. Then you just have a furnace in the middle. You have a boat at the bottom of that for the little gabbity bit. And then you have two bits of string either side to hold the balloon in place and that in turn will give you the airship now as you can see this this one's red um yeah basically you don't have to have it red if you don't want to have it red because rah, load my pretties there we go these are actually cost like you can just dye these uh really really straightforward um hang on let me just give me one second here because it is turning into night time and we do not want this so time set Hey. Um, so yeah, you can change the colour of these airships at will. It's very, very straightforward. I've just done sort of a selection here just to kind of demonstrate. But um, this is another reason why I like it. It's so straightforward, yet yeah, it's just a nice little touch, really. Uh, it's another use for the dyes and everything. But uh, yeah, for example, if we go over to... Uh, ooh, an egg. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, I got chicken! Ah! <laughs> Little chicklet. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, we just got a red one. So all you need to do is is get yourselves your dye, whatever color you want. So ink sack or uh, lime green, and then you just you just basically right click the basket with them. Um, so there you go. You got a black balloon if you want one. You can have a green balloon if you want one, uh, and so forth. Now, the only thing left still to do is to actually fuel this, um, but yeah, it's basically just coal, so you just get coal and uh, you just right click on it like so. I think because I'm in creative mode, it doesn't actually go down. I think maybe also because I'm in creative mode, I can just fly it at infinitum, um, but uh, yeah, you do need to fuel it with coal, so very simply just right click on the basket and uh, that'll do it. So, I suppose we should give this thing a little test drive. It's super, super straightforward to drive. Well, he, he says, <laughs> which color should we take? Hmm. So, yeah, I've actually picked the purple one. I've kind of moved it a little bit out of this line. Um, so, yeah, when you kind of free them, they'll kind of like bob around a little bit. Uh, it's kind of like they're kind of a little bit eager to uh, to get started. But I'm going to try and right click this with some fuel. Uh, click the airship with coal to fuel it. So, I think it's fuel, to be honest. Oh, there we go. There we go. You've got to click right on the end bit here. And that's how you fuel it right there. As you can see, my hand's going up and down. So that should be nicely fueled up. So yeah, really, really straightforward. Once again, just jump in with a right click. And it will kind of like bob up and down when you're not doing anything. The way to actually get some height is to press Z and hold Z down. And as you can see, slowly, we are rising into the air. Yeah, what a... What a professional flyer. Uh, so yeah, really, really straightforward. Now, kind of, you set this height, basically, which is nice. Um, so yeah, once, you, once you're at the right height, all you need to do is use your WASD, uh, much like normal walking, to, uh, you know, control where you want to go. So here we go. Let's go on a little flight. Duh, 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 duh. We need some, like, emotional music in the background. Maybe that can be arranged. Okay, that's better. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, uh, we're just flying around now. Really, really straightforward, simple. As you can see, the animation is kind of nice. You've got the propellers going around. You've got the smoke coming out of the engine. And uh, yeah, it's super, super easy to fly. It's way easier to control. It's sort of like a little bit similar to a boat. I imagine that's probably some sort of coding used in there. But um, 
So yeah, just a quick recap of, oh god, I'm going to crash into a tree. Ah! There we go. So uh, yeah, X is to go down, Z is to go up, and it's WASD just to, you know, pick your, your route. And yeah, it's just a really nice way of getting from A to B. Um, you know, it's not too crazily overpowered. You know, it's not like relying on flight. You don't have to swap into creative mode if you want to fly somewhere. You can actually still play in survival mode, yet get from A to B in this very basic, straightforward, but really, really useful, fancy, customizable airship of awesome. And look at that chunk error down there. Damn. Um, so yeah, that is it for this mod spotlight. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Incidentally, if this is the first time you've ever seen any of my stuff, my name is James, or thanks to you. And if you would like to see some more, please consider subscribing to the channel or checking out some more of my content. And if you do, I really hope you enjoy it. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. That would be super appreciated by myself. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. I'm going to go on a bit of fly. So a bit of a, a bit of a fly. Yes, a bit of a fly. So until next time, thank you once again for watching. It has indeed been a pleasure as always thanks see ya